Yeah. So some people really want coronavirus to be discovered in Nigeria. Madu. If you're a student in Corona High School watching this video, I guess this is like one of the worst times to be a Corona student. Cause aka if you're graduating this year, you guys are like the Corona joke. Like this is <laughs> joke guys, it's just it's like I'm joking. I am seriously joking here. Hi guys, first and foremost, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Aum Kenneth and we're back again with another new and we are trying to like up this consistency thing. Oh god, my English. Anyway, so welcome back guys. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and let's get started. So guys, up to now, coronavirus has not been discovered in Africa over Nigeria as a whole. Madu. So coronavirus has been going around on a World Series tour, like no joke or point intended. Like this is a really serious disease and the World Health Organization has declared a global emergency on coronavirus. And I guess what's really on everybody's mind in Nigeria is that it's not yet in Africa for one and it's not yet in nigeria we haven't legally governmentally <laughs> obtained the fact that this disease is in nigeria like people haven't reported any symptoms but another thing on most nigerians like most nigerians that haven't aware that there's such a disease out there called coronavirus and not just common cold i scared of the fact that People might have symptoms for the coronavirus, but our health facilities might just think it's normal cold and kata, which is really, really bad. Apart from the fact that we are really having like a major FOMO <laughs> in a weird way, like it's not a joke once more, but I just have to say it's like fear of missing out. You get like all these crazy things are going on right around the world and we are like, okay, developing nation or a developing continent right like we are assumed to be still living with animals and stuff we don't have this disease yet so that is quite a very wicked taste of irony <laughs> to the western uh, western country in short the fact about the disease so far is number one it's not really a bio weapon um, from news outlets I have read so far and information that, that have gotten to me all suggest that it is not a bio weapon and um, scientists have looked into the sequence, the genome sequence and the scientific stuff, right? And discovered that it doesn't look something that a human would create. I mean, like this disease has Bluetooth, to be honest. Like, it is spreading fast and it's not even funny no longer. And the worst part of this thing is that it exists and also social media exists. So it's kind of like tracking the beginning of zombie. Guys, this video is not about the scientific facts surrounding the disease because I, to be honest, I do not have any doctorate degree concerning medicine or anything that has to do with science so far. And this is just for my YouTube channel and for informational purposes. And you can also say slightly entertainment purposes. Now, the fact about the disease is that for one, it is not a bioweapon as far as I know now, to be honest, because the facts will keep on changing. If I mention numbers, certain deaths, or who have contacted the disease, the number will be outdated by the time I have released this video to be honest because it's an ongoing issue and people are just going a little bit crazy concerning it, especially in like affected countries to be honest and for a continent like Africa and a country like Nigeria where information disbursement takes like a whole lot of time to reach down to the nitty gritty of Nigeria as a whole. Forget Lagos, forget Abuja, forget all these metropolitan cities where we have educated people in quotes. What about like the far north where they don't have access to internet, where Wi Fi access is bad, internet access is horrible, horrendous to even mention as a fact, right? And basically, people who are still living in poverty in Nigeria. But the good thing here is, or will I say the unfortunate part here is most of these places do not have international airports. So for cities like Abuja, Lagos, and I think a little of Port Harcourt, um, where they have international airports are the ones, will I say, at risk more? 
but also there's also like a rumor in news out there that um, there's a bit of delaying information about when this um, epidemic started and to be honest I saw a very scary information on Twitter that stated that before they started having border closures or land closures or telling people to stay back in their house in China about like 5 million people have left the city where it started in Wuhan, China. I hope I'm pronouncing that well. And so that it's just for the funny thing is that it might look funny, I might make jokes about it here and there in this video, but it's actually really an epidemic. And the scary part of all is there is no cure, and antibiotics cannot do anything because it's a virus. It's it doesn't work. But the good thing here is scientists also are trying to find the roots about this and cut it before it gets any much worse um, than is it right now and if you're on the internet please do not look for the prediction on how fast this disease might spread because that is very very scary like i saw the numbers and i was like no 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 we we can't believe this and the worst part is this thing is happening during the era of social media so it's like you know when you think about zombie movies and you've like when social media be around when you're going through like a zombie apocalypse that kind of thing it's just scary like people are just making fun comments and making memes about the whole thing and people are actually losing loved ones as like time flies like the numbers out there are very very scary and we don't know what the government here in Nigeria is doing. Although I saw a video from the Lagos state government where it talked about precautions to take. But to be honest, I don't think that video is going to go far in terms of like outside Lagos or go down to the villages where people don't have lights, don't have good road in Nigeria, don't have good education to understand the English speaking video. I'm giving these precautions for Nigeria to think. So hopefully it doesn't get to Nigeria and if it does, I hope that we are well prepared to take this thing head on. For precaution, it's best to make sure the food you're eating is well prepared, especially meats. And for now, stay away from like funny animals that you wouldn't eat on a normal base, right? Snakes and some other wild, exotic animals, right? Um, yeah, reports out there saying that this is an animal related disease that transfers to human and now humans can also transfer this disease so it's best if you stay away from animals unprepared or uncooked food make sure it's cooked properly um, wash your hands make sure your environment is tidy and also wear nose masks in the, if you live in a country where there's a lot of cases going on and yeah just be very very attentive and be mindful of your surroundings don't do extra things don't make fun of certain people or certain cultures because of they are more prone to it or the stories there from there so please just be sensitive enough with what you post out there and yeah that's all i have for you on the coronavirus peace guys see you in my next one stay safe